Last year, Italy faced an unusual crisis, one that had the entire nation in turmoil. Pasta prices had shot through the roof. The Italian government called a special meeting. Since then, the situation has improved. But what led to the hike in the first place and how did Italy tame it? We met the nonas or grandmothers of Bari to find out. These women make pasta on the streets every day. It's an art that they seem to have perfected. But how did the rise of pasta prices affect their business? And have things become better for them now? Also, is Italy's love for pasta the secret ingredient to its economic resilience? Take a look. Long and winding, short and curvy, thick and hollow. It doesn't matter for the Italians. If it's pasta, it must be eaten. Very few food items have this sort of power over a country. But as they say, power comes at a cost. Around this time last year, the Italian government had an emergency meeting. A central minister called some officials and industry experts not to discuss a national security threat or a health emergency. It was a pasta crisis. Pasta prices in Italy were up by 20%, while overall inflation had okay, risen only by 8%. So obviously, the Italians wanted answers, and that is why the government called an emergency meeting. It's been one year since that meeting, but has the situation improved since? We'll find out today. Bari is the perfect place to test this out. One of the key landmarks here is the Norman Castle. Around 100 meters away, you see this narrow passageway. These women run the show here, the nonas or grandmothers of Bari. Their work is equal parts inspiring and mechanical. Stretch, cut, roll and repeat. It's a routine they have perfected over many years. And the end product looks like this. It's called orecchiete pasta, which means little ears. If you look at the shape, it's clear why. They come in different colors with the same shape. But what do the nonas have to say about pasta prices? Has it affected their sales too? Not only pasta and wheat, the prices of other food items like fruits, vegetables and milk had also gone up. Not surprising. Pasta is an emotion in Italy. Every year, this country makes 4 million tons of pasta. 60% of Italians eat it every day. The average Italian eats 23 kilograms of pasta every year. And these are mind-boggling numbers. But it's not just pasta in Italy. The situation is similar across Europe. In 2022, food inflation touched 8.5% in Europe. Food and fuel became more expensive. Do you know what else happened in 2022? Russia invaded Ukraine. And Europe's response to this invasion was to isolate and punish Russia. But in the process, they ended up punishing their own people. Take the pasta example. Pasta is made of wheat. Do you know who produces and exports this wheat? Russia and Ukraine. So, so the sanctions ended up making pasta more expensive for Europeans. Italy did make amends though. First, they created a monitoring agency to regulate the price to make sure sellers are not hoarding. Then they expanded supply chains. Russia and Ukraine were the source of Italy's problem, but they turned it into a solution. After the war, Italy bought more agro products from Ukraine and Russia, around 150% more from Ukraine and 9% more from Russia. Slowly, these moves are working. Italy's inflation slowed down to 1.3% in March 2024. Compare that to the EU average, which is more than 2.5%. So Italy's strategy worked. In 2022, their inflation was at a four-decade high. But since then, it has fallen 10 percentage points. And it comes at the perfect time. Germany and France have been the two top economies of the EU. They were considered Europe's growth engines. But now Italy has a chance to break this duopoly. Inflation is already under control here. Its GDP is growing faster than Germany and France. And chances are that going forward, Germany and France will be caught up in domestic squabbles. 
So this is Italy's opportunity to steal their thunder. It's all about consistency. Maybe their love for pasta is not their weakness after all. Maybe it will strengthen their resolve to fight inflation. Fan of Italy's famous cuisine? Well, we are serving it with a side of diplomacy. As the G7 leaders gather in southern Italy, Vantage is taking you to the heart of the action. What's the agenda? Who is invited? And how is Italy preparing for it? Catch the special edition of Vantage throughout this week, only on First Post. Fan of Italy's famous cuisine? Well, we are serving it with a side of diplomacy. As G7 leaders gather in southern Italy, Vantage is taking you to the heart of the action. What's the agenda? Who's invited? And how is Italy preparing for it? Catch the special edition of Vantage throughout this week, only on First Post.